Oh y'all, welcome back. I am out here in Iowa right now and it is actually a gorgeous today. I'll have to look at my phone, but it's almost 60 degrees out right now. Uh, but we get a fire going. We've got something interesting to cook tonight. And uh, I've also got something interesting to go check out tomorrow morning uh, before we head out. So uh, let's get this fire going so we can get ourselves some dinner cooking here later and uh, probably crack ourselves a brew. Well, fire's raging, uh, and I guess I'll give you a, a forecast if I can. I've only got one bar of service out here, so it might not work. It's currently 61 degrees, feels like 56, and there's only a low of 31 degrees tonight, so it's going to be gorgeous. Uh, there's water out here in front of me, but with these temperatures, I would not feel safe walking out there, especially by myself. Uh, but I imagine it's probably... There's probably still safe areas, but we're getting really close to the end of the season here, I feel like. Uh, we'll probably have another cold snap at some point, but it's like 50 degree temps in the forecast for the next 10 days or so. And the wind's picking up a bit. But I'm gonna hang out, watch this fire, I think. Might as well grab myself something to drink. Got a good one to go with dinner tonight, but we're just gonna have a Coors for now. Frosty.
All right, let me shut this thing off. Okay guys, so uh, we're gonna try something a little bit different tonight, something that I have never done. Uh, we've got our cast iron pan here, and we've got some uh, Idaho potatoes in a carton. Uh, and I need to heat up water and pour water in here before I can pour them in the frying pan. Uh, so we'll get our little pan out here and get that going. How much do I need? Fill carton to fill line. It's not going to take much. Should just use the jet boil for this, but you can boil some water in a pan, I suppose. All right, while we're waiting for that water to boil, uh, we've got ourselves a nice T-bone here. If you guys can see that. Uh, this is one pound of solid meats here. Angus Reserve. And we're gonna try something a little bit different with this. So I'm gonna put some salt and pepper on there but I am also going to rub this or crust this with coffee. I have some Dunkin' Donuts coffee here. I imagine this might taste better if you did it with uh, fresh ground beans or whatnot, but I do not have that. So we're going to just try it with the coffee grounds that I do have. Ooh, a little salt and pepper each side. Got a little bit of much there. I don't really know how much to use, so we're just going to dump it on there and rub her in. I want to get it good and coated for this. This was recommended on a live stream, something that I had never heard of, but if you do a Google search, it's fairly common. Uh, lots of different recipes out there. The steak has been sitting out for a while, so it is up to room temperature. It's getting pretty cold out here. In fact, I might need to throw my last couple chunks of wood on there to get through this. Do both sides. Salt and pepper and coffee grounds. Is that pepper? No. I don't know what that was. <laughs> We've got a little bit of mystery seasoning on there. This is pepper. Get it on the sides, get it everywhere. All right, we're gonna wait for our water to boil and uh, we'll get to these potatoes. Oh, I should have started this a little bit earlier, I think. Uh, we gotta pour the water in these and then wait for 12 minutes and then cook them in the pan. So we're gonna let our steak sit with our coffee in there, let it soak in nicely. And uh, we'll get started once this water boils. All right, that's been on there long enough. Kicking over my fire poker.
Yeah, I've never had these before. I've never even seen these. Uh, it's never something I've looked for, so I really have no idea what I'm doing, but I don't know where the fill line is. Well, maybe it's the top. Just about the right amount of water. And we gotta let this sit for 12 minutes. Seems really odd to me, but I've never done this before, so we'll find out, right? Stay closed. Here we go. The coffee on this thing smells amazing. Uh, I'm soaked to try this. I guess while this is getting ready, I'll go grab our beer for dinner tonight. So in the spirit of coffee, I picked this one up and the label's really dark. I don't know how well you guys are going to be able to see that. Uh, it's got a bunch of coffee beans on it. It's from Evil Twin Brewing, and what is it called? It's just a coffee stout, 8%, so it's pretty strong, and it says before, during, and after dinner blend. Uh, so we're gonna give this a shot. I'm usually not a stout guy at all, so I don't know if this is gonna, gonna taste very good to me, but it's out of uh, Evil Twin Brewing, North Haven, Connecticut. Give this a shot. Might as well have a coffee stout to go with our coffee steak, right? Can't really smell the coffee. Ooh, that's good. And that is very dark. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's good. Definitely tastes like coffee. That's definitely a sipper for me. Uh, I'm not a huge dark beer guy, so we're going to sip on this and wait for these things to cook up, I guess. Well, why don't we toss this on the top of the rack here, get her pretty, pretty heating a little bit. Way up here over yonder. All right. I'm just gonna make the whole thing because I don't know what I'm doing. It's uh, a lot of potatoes, dude. And we'll go ahead and slap our steak on there. Potatoes sure aren't cooking very fast. Ooh, that looks tasty. Man, I got too much potatoes in there for sure. These are gonna take forever to cook. Well, at this point, that steak has been on there far too long. We're going to take this off and let it rest for a few minutes. My lights are flickering. And uh, try to get these potatoes cooked. They are not 
cooking very fast. And this is the lowest the grill will go, and it is hot. It's just not cooking. I got too many taters in there. I stuck it straight down in the coals. We'll see if we can get that to work a little bit better. Those are done. See if that'll do anything. Probably do that. Well, I don't know if that'll get going. Let me shut this off. We shall see, but we've got our dinner here, and man, these, these potatoes are hot. Uh, the steak has had about six minutes to rest. Uh, once I put these down in the bottom, it worked much, much better. Uh, I'm curious about this steak. There is a lot of coffee on that thing. I'm in that light. It's flickering. Sorry if the lights are flickering, y'all. That's all I got. Uh, but yes, I'm incredibly curious about this steak. There's a lot of, a lot of uh, coffee on there. We've got ourselves a nice T-bone here. We're just gonna take a hunk out of it. Give it a whirl. Yeah, the steak's a little, a little bit more done than I would have hoped for, but... I mean, it definitely has a coffee flavor, but it's not like an overwhelming thing. It's like smoky. That's really different. I like that. I do like that. Yeah, that's different. I'm going to give that a thumbs up for sure. Especially with the coffee drink. That's good meat. I was a little bit worried, but dude, that's good. I'm gonna get another bite of that. Yeah, it's not like, if I didn't know what was on there, I wouldn't say that was coffee. That's, that's different. And so with our potatoes, we're going to try this ketchup. And this ketchup was sent into the P.O. box. And this is Woodside Kitchen Ghost Pepper Ketchup. All natural, taste, savor, and linger. I'll just put that in my pocket. I, I don't feel like this is going to be super hot, but I could be wrong. Ooh, that smells spicy. That smells spicy. I'll give it a taste. That's not bad. That's not bad. We'll just dump a little on there. Give her a whirl. That's not bad. 
bad at all. That might be tasty on the steak even. I feel like it's kind of sacrilege to put ketchup on a steak, but... Those are good taters. I like my hash browns crispy. Can you hear the coyotes? There's a lot of them out there. I will probably eat all these potatoes. All right, we're gonna try some of this ketchup on the steak, just cause I gotta give it a whirl. It does have a little bit of kick to it, but nothing that you would expect from something that says ghost pepper on it. That is good, man. Well, thank you to whoever suggested the coffee crusted steak. I'm going to have to try this again. A lot of the recipes that I looked up said to do it in a cast iron pan or in a like, pan, fry the steak. Uh, but we chose the grill and I think it turned out great. Okay. Oh, I can't believe I shoveled that all in. A one pound T-bone and an entire pan full of potatoes. But it was great. 100% uh, would recommend the coffee steak. Like I said, I didn't taste, like it does not taste like coffee. Um, it's a dark flavor, like an earthy flavor. Just really, really good. And then this ketchup, I would call it like a mild to medium. Uh, if you can handle like a mild hot sauce, mild medium hot sauce, check this stuff up. That's that's good. I want to try that on a bunch of different things. Uh, it was tasty on the steak, but I don't really like ketchup on steak. But uh, anyways, <coughs> oh, dinner was amazing. I'm going to get this cleaned up and I'm going to head inside before uh, I pass out from a food coma. swapped out to my jamma pants and I can still see the fire out there I downloaded a few things I don't remember what I actually have on here but I'm gonna lay back and watch myself something on the tube here I am stuffed I don't know if I'll even make it through a movie tonight I'm gonna watch a Netflix movie it's uh let's see if I can look it up it's in their top 10 right now it's called Arctic I have one bar of 4g here it says, stranded in an Arctic wasteland after his plane crashes, a pilot must risk everything to help another gravely injured survivor reach safety in time. And it's starring Mads Mikkelsen. Uh, I, I couldn't tell you what else he's in, but I recognize the name. Let's get this going. Oh, man. I'm stuffed. Oh. I got the heater going down there. I am plugged in tonight. And let's get this light shut off.
Good morning, y'all. Oh, just a little after eight. The sun came up right behind the truck. It's poking me in the eye a little bit. Oh. See the sun coming up out there. Right through the trees. Well, hell yeah, it was a gorgeous night. Uh, sat outside probably way longer than I expected to, honestly, last night, but uh, we're gonna get ourselves some coffee going. We're gonna try something different. This coffee filter was sent into the P.O. box. Um, and it's a little different. So you have this little wafer here with a little reusable filter on the bottom. And we're gonna make ourselves some coffee. There's some instructions on here, but yeah, fill her up with some coffee and uh, set her down in there and it can hang out in the water while it's brewing, I guess. And then we got to get rid of the coffee grounds and the trite ash, but that's going to be our, our setup for today. What should we do? We did dunk it on the steak. So we'll do Folgers for coffee this morning. I have Dunkin' and Folgers in there right now. So what did I do? I don't really know how much to use at this point with this thing. Uh, I guess it's basically not a ton different than my French press, so I guess there's only so much room. We'll just put in a couple scoops. guys will be able to see that but yeah there's a little coffee in there maybe we'll we'll throw in one more just for good measure yeah we're boiling I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like I don't think you necessarily have to pour it over like super slow or anything. I think you just pour it over and let it sit in there for a couple of minutes, but I guess I didn't think about the volume of that coffee being in there and taking up the space of the water, but so you guys can see what's going on a little bit better. Yeah, just pour over coffee, but I've never, I don't think I've ever had straight pour over like this. Because it will inevitably sit down in the coffee a little bit. It's already down in the water. It smells really good. Uh, I don't know, not more fresh, but it smells a little stronger, I guess. We're gonna give that a minute to brew up. 
yeah it's just sitting in the water so we'll see how this turns out but it smells tasty I can't complain about that while that gets brewed up I'm gonna change into my pantalones grab my coat from over there Ooh, almost knocked it over that would have been the suck all right we're just gonna let this kind of drip out this is a little messy I guess a little bit more messy than the French press I think I'm gonna use this Amazon bag that Hopefully it doesn't have any holes in it. We're going to get rid of the coffee grounds that way. Try to get all the juice out of there. Give me that spicy bean water. <laughs> all right. So, this thing will definitely need to be rinsed out. I got coffee fingers. A little bit dirty. A little bit messy. But it's just coffee grounds. Ain't the end of the world. Let's see what we can see what we can do just with a paper towel, maybe. Uh, I'm gonna have to take this probably. I, I could rinse it out with the water that I have, but I'll take this in and rinse it out at home. I think if you're going to take this with you, it'd be good to have uh, something that you can fill with water and like dip this thing into. Because there is a little, there are a lot of little coffee grounds in there. And I don't want those to just sit in there forever and ever. Forever and ever. And. We'll just leave that on top of the cooler. It'll be fine right there for now. We've got ourselves a cup of joe here. And uh, we're going to get headed down the road quick. Because I've got a cool spot to check out this morning. So, let's get after that. Nice out.
Your destination is on the left. Well, there's a tree in the way, but I am currently in Stanton, Iowa, and we have a giant coffee pot. What well, is supposed to look like a coffee pot, I believe that this is the city's old water tower. Could be wrong though, and of course the sun's right behind it, so that's awesome. It's all painted up. There's a sign over there we'll check out. Yeah, the sun's definitely not in the right spot for this. I'll have to check out the other side. I can barely see it. Yeah, it's got a spout and everything on it. It's kind of neat, y'all. Let's go see what this sign says. And then this building here, it's the old public school, at least it says public school across the top there. And it's like a Swedish cultural center or something like that. Oh, hey, there's a time capsule under here, too. Look at that. I don't know if I'll be around for that one. Well, here we go. That's a little odd. <laughs> uh, Stanton, Iowa. Stanton, Iowa. The little white city. I'm not sure about all that or why that's on the side, but so what we've got here is a 125 foot tall coffee pot. Uh, it can hold 640,000 cups or 40,000 gallons. It says the spout is 10 foot high and six feet deep. Pot is 36 foot high and 20 foot wide and the handle is 15 foot high. And I guess Stanton, Iowa is the burst birthplace of the movie and tv fame virginia christine ha. folgers coffee mrs olson and here we've got some folgers this morning so that's a bit different imagine living in one of these houses just right next to this thing i'm gonna have to pull the truck down here in the alley and take a picture from this side you probably see it a little bit better this way without the sun on you Poking you right in the eyeball. Look at that thing. It's huge. And it's painted and looks nice. They need to let people inside of it. I wonder what they're... Looks like there's a hole on the bottom of it, but... I don't know if I want to crawl under there. It's pretty big, y'all. Pretty big. Surprised it doesn't say like the world's largest coffee pot or something on the sign. Can barely get it all in the shot. <sighs> That's pretty cool, y'all. I'm going to take some pictures with my phone quick. Actually, I'll just wait and do them down there. Uh, but there you go. Stay in Iowa really random and uh it's a giant coffee pot but the school's got me intrigued because they've got a slide over here on the side of the building it looks like there's an emergency exit slide i went to a a school that had one of those i'm pretty old yeah it looks like an emergency exit slide for the second floor i don't know if you guys Anybody else grew up with anything like that? But you can see it on the side of the building, yeah. All right, I'm gonna move the truck, and get a better shot. All right, guys, I moved around to the other side. Uh, this might give you a little bit of size comparison. It's pretty big, definitely looks cool from this end. And I snapped a few pictures, but get back on the truck here okay oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get myself out of these these people's alley 
right here. This is like an alley. Uh, looks like somebody's front door is kind of right there. Uh, great night. Lots of different coffee things. We had the coffee crusted steak. We had some fresh pour over coffee, which this is really good. And a giant coffee pot with some interesting history behind it. Uh, it's just cool what you run across in these small towns and the way they repurpose things like that. Uh, it's kind of, it's neat to see, you know. But I'm going to get headed on down the road and uh, get ready for the next adventure. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm glad you guys are all watching. And uh, make sure you hit the like button if you thought the video was cool and all that stuff. But it's time to get headed on down the road over yonder. I better pick you guys up before I lose you. Well, if you're ever in Stanton, Iowa, uh, I would recommend checking this thing out. It's neat to see. It would be cool if that Swedish Cultural Center is op would be open, but it is not right now. Uh, and just a block over, you have this giant old church. So, not a much of a not much of a religious guy, but that's a cool building. And it's a big point, pointy steeple on there. Yeah, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I guess, stay tuned for the next adventure. I'll see you in a bit.